Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today, I'm excited to try something a little different. Um, I got at a thrift store uh, a couple days ago the complete Calvin and Hobbes by Bill Watterson's uh, body of work. Um, it's like in a clamshell with these three massive volumes and... Um, I just really, just recently got into Calvin Hobbes and kind of uh, was really amazed by the line quality. So just on a visual um, perspective, I really loved his line work. <clears throat> so I thought, wouldn't it be fun to ink Bill Watterson or make some attempts to ink it? So what I did was I scanned in some some of his drawings from 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 his um his strips. I put it on a 11 by 17. Uh I am I blew it up a little bit from the book. Now I don't know we we're making a couple of conceits. One one is I don't know the the actual size he worked at and I don't know the actual tools he used. So I'm going to approximate, right? I assumed he probably reduced it a bit, so I bumped the originals up. And so these are different panels from some of the strips. I bumped them up, and then I blue-lined copies of them. So I did like three copies each of these, because I figured it's going to take me a couple tries to like see if I can imitate Bill Bill's work. So... The goal is really just to see if I can create the same type of line quality that he did. Now, I didn't just blue, I didn't just copy this in and use a filter to make this blue. I actually went in and used a digital rapidograph and inked it. So it doesn't have any of the line quality, it doesn't have any of the, the change in thickness that the ink does. It's just really like a dull pen sketch from that, right? So now I have to go in and I'm going to have to put in those changes of of line work. So so I'm not going to go by the blue. I'm going to have to actually go and reference the 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 actual original. So I'm just going to play with this. I'm going to use my my G pen <clears throat> and some uh Peach Martin's uh ink. Okay? That's what I'm doing. So Using these tools, making the assumption that Bill used this technique at this size. He maybe even used even bigger. I have no idea. <clears throat> I probably could look it up. I thought, why don't I go ahead and try it and do this? And I thought it'd be kind of fun. For me, it's going to be a fun exercise. And maybe for you, it might be fun to watch. I don't know. And I'll chat about it while I do it. And what we'll do it too is, I, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll also, uh, if we like this, comment below, let me know, and maybe we'll do some other kind of inking stuff. We can ink freaking Keith Giffen's trencher or something ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. We'll play with it. Um, so I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit, but I think you guys will be fine seeing it. And uh, I'll just see if I can pull this off, and then we can just chit-chat while I do this. So uh, looking at... The way he's doing this, I'm going to have to actually move this around because <clears throat> I'm looking at some of the stuff that he has. Okay, so let's just start with this hair. Uh, and you know what? He might not even be using a G-Pen. He's maybe using something else. He's not using Rapidograph. I know that much. Um, but he could be using Brush. I don't know. That's why I've got a couple ver a couple versions. See, this is a little thicker. And then he goes a little thicker on this too, so this could even be like a like a um, chisel, you know? I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of play with. It. Oh, that's a little bit too thick. Hopefully my big nog is not getting in the way. I always worry about that. Um, so as I try to play with this and try to see if I can 
ape his ink style and really just, you know, these type of exercises, I actually think they're pretty valuable because it's not just about aping somebody. It's kind of doing a master study. And they do this, you know, and when you're taking art classes, it's you're recreating an artist. And by doing that, by going through these motions, you actually learn. You actually learn the technique. It's not about tracing or it's about, you know, copying, none of that. It's about using this as a as a way to learn things. And, you know, he probably, he might even use Rapidograph. So I might do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Um, it's actually not bad the way that is right there. I might just not bother. So while I've got you here and I'm sitting here, we can talk about a little bit about the news. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in comics right now with the, you know, Me Too, Speak Out, you know, comic creators getting kind of um, accused of a lot of... A lot of gnarliness going on, you know, a lot of uh, abuse of power or using your your fame or position to kind of like get favors and kind of like, you know, people people have been doing this since the dawn of time, you know, whether it be favors or sexual kind of opportunities, whether it be another jobs, whether it be pro quid quo, quid pro quo of you know. Uh, I'll give you this job, you give me that thing, or I'll bump you up when you bump me, you know. That kind of stuff has been going on forever, so it doesn't surprise me. Uh, and I'm not super surprised necessarily by the names of people, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people have kind of heard that Warren Ellis, when I met him too, there's something about him. But, you know, here's the deal, though. Um, I wasn't there, you know what I mean? And... I don't know, so I'm keeping my mouth shut. Now, of course, I'm sitting here on my channel talking about it, but I'm kind of staying out of it. I don't know. Um, you know, I do believe that people should be given the benefit of the doubt and, you know, innocent till proven guilty. I know if I was in a situation like that, if I behaved inappropriately, if I was flirting with somebody at the con, I would be mortified if like years later someone comes up to me and says, yeah, you were trying to sell me your freaking Western comic and then you did blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I would be mortified. So, you know, it's about per it's about perception. You know, it's about perception. And it's like, well, um, I see it one way. They see it a different way. And what you going to do? You know, are you going to say, well, um, he did this or that, and that's the way it is. Well, okay, but maybe they thought it was a totally different situation. There's been a many, many situations in my life where I was under a different assumption as the, as the other party. Not necessarily in kind of a opposite sex, you know romantic situation, but there's been times where like, I thought we were talking about this and we were actually talking about that. Or I thought they didn't like me when actually that was just, that's just the way they are or vice versa. And so it's hard to, um, it's hard to know, you know, so I, and it's not about I'm sticking up for the guys because I'm a guy. It's just about, you know, you don't freaking know, you know, people's perceptions and, and people, what people think. And you try to do the best you can. Just don't be an ass to people. Now notice this. See how I kind of it went thick because I'm using G pen. He doesn't quite have it quite as much. So I'm wondering, maybe just not as much pressure. You know, because that one that one's a little bit better. It's hard to tell. You know, but these stripes here too, because it got this hard. Let's see if I can pull it off. He's got this that like almost like a flat chisel kind of. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that one. Yeah. 
I'm not sure about that one. Okay. Let me just keep going though. Let me just, uh, part of this too is about speed. Cause I'm sure he didn't sit here and like do this super painstakingly. Could be wrong on that too though. Uh, but I'm deliberately trying to match his lines to, to a degree at least. I'm trying to get these right. Um, so yeah, dude, when I see people like Jason Latour and whoever who I, I know them only from their work. I don't know them at all personally, you know, and I'm not about to say like this gal or this person uh, is wrong, but you know, I just don't want to cast judgment necessarily. Um, I do like it when people, you know, say they're sorry and it seems like they have, you know, um, but I also try to stay out of it. I just like, I don't want to really get in that mess because it is a mess and then sides are chosen and then you wind up being for the victim or for the defendant and then there's, it's tribal, right? And it's like, oh, well, now we're on the side and now we gotta like stick to our team and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm here to talk about comics, <laughs> you know? And I try not to talk about all that other stuff, although that stuff is all, it's all part of it, or at least it definitely affects sometimes the work. See, that was a little bit too much on that one there. Okay, sorry, blowing the camera there. And then sometimes with these G-pens, you get a little piece of like a paper or something in there, and you gotta kinda like clean it up. Just a little bit of something there, okay. Um, Getting a lot of cases coming in. I went to, um, well, I, was, I went to downtown Los Angeles uh, yesterday and I went to Venice Beach and a bunch of places actually. Just kind of like went to old bookstores. I was looking for magazines. I'm working on this a scrap file and, you know, for a reference and such. And I wanted some old magazines and kind of look at art books. And I found out downtown has this art center, like art, art district. I didn't even know about it. It's right next to Little Tokyo. And I go to Little Tokyo all the time. I go to Little Tokyo like maybe like twice a month, pretty damn often. And I've never been to this, to this little spot. It's just a couple blocks away. And I was like, <clears throat> I was there because there's a bookstore called like, it's like Hennessy and Ingram, something like that. I want to say Hennessy, but that could be Messing that up. Um, and it's like a bookstore that kind of focuses on the arts, uh, drawing, uh, design, and architecture. So I'm also check that out. And there's all these little uh, studios and like workspaces and places kind of like where I live here in Ventura that are all made for artists. That are like this little community, you know, artist work, workspaces type deal. And I thought, oh, that's really cool. Like, this would be a place that I would totally love to live. And the problem is I have a family, and I don't think they want to necessarily live in freaking downtown L.A., which is two blocks away from Skid Row. And right now, if you've never been there, it's pretty scary. It's just, there's there's just a lot of homeless. The, it's just, a, it's very overrun, and it's sad because there's no... Um, uh, there's just no freaking help for these for, for people and stuff, so it's kind of crappy. I do like little Tokyo; it's right there, though. But it's beautiful, beautiful new area. A lot of new apartments there, which I thought were cool. And the store is pretty good. The store is pretty good. With some other places too, other bookstores. Um, I didn't find that much. I found a couple things, but not, not a whole lot. So I feel like he does this quick. Some of these lines feel kind of like. So I might just kind of go, go quick and that kind of, you know. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Um, we're gonna do some more. Let's 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 try this one now. I did this one because I like this tree. I like this kind of, this stuff. Now he might not even be using a repeater graph at all. He might be using a little brush, but I'm gonna go ahead and just 
give it a shot and see what I can do here. It's got some nice character to it. And he's probably, he could be even using like some, some pro white or white out here. I'll just see if I can just draw around it. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but. I think if I were to do this for real, I would definitely pull out a brush, at least for a, a part of this, I would. Just to make it a little, a little quicker. But it's got nice, nice quality to it, I like it. These, these are nice little branches. <laughs> A little bug fell on my shirt. Okay. It's actually a little thicker there. So I'm gonna cut like that. Yeah, there we go. The trick to these kind of organic things and like things like trees and such is you gotta can't make it too straight. You gotta give it some kind of character. You gotta show that there's a lot of twists and turns to it. Hobbs here. See if I can pull this off. If I bring this up a little bit, is that fine? Yeah. Okay, he does this little tail. Watch. I'd be. There's probably a video out there of him just using like rapidographs and brushes, and so it's like whatever I'm doing here is just doesn't matter. <laughs> but I feel like it is. I feel like I feel like this could be right. He could use it. A, a, like a G-nib or some sort of crow quill or a hunt or something. I feel like that. See, that line's off. See how thick that is? It's not quite that thick. Again, it could be pressure. My arm's a little off, too. That's okay. I think on my next one, if I say one, I might try to fix that. And these little turns have to really be... Yeah, there we go, that's a little better. Nice, about that, yeah. Oop. Yeah, that doesn't quite look that quite it isn't quite the right line there, but it's okay. I think it was a good idea just to do this uh, in a flat line. That way I can really kind of play with it. Otherwise, you're kind of you're kind of cheating if your blue line is perfect. You know, line quality. Then you just like literally follow the blue lines on there. So yeah, I had a fun time in LA yesterday. Got some food. Went to a last bookstore on the last... The last bookstore, which is in downtown, then I went to a place called Angel City, which was in Santa Monica, and then that one Ingalls shop, which was pretty good. No comics, um, because I have so many comics to read still, and I just, I'm like, I need to just like get other stuff right now. Um, I'm kind of like 
if I don't put some limits, I'll just keep buying freaking comics. So I've got to put some limits. And, um, so that was important to do that. I like LA a lot. This is a little tricky because I'm not sure if that is right or not. Yeah, this is a like that. It's a great idea, this um, scarf. I wish it has a lot, of, a lot of nice movement. Ooh. I think I screwed it up. I don't really know what, oh, these are his feet. I was like, what are these things? That's that's Hobbes' feet. It's a little tricky sometimes to kind of like decipher things. That's why, you know, when I wanted to be an inker back in the day, it was like, you get these pencils to, you know, dig your samples on and like, sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on. You're like, I don't know what this is. And I'm like, this. I know this is George Perez. I know he's doing something awesome, but I can't tell with this freaking crappy quality photo print, you know. And I'm sure if you're, I was doing the originals, you'd be able to see, you know, worst case, you'd be able to freaking call him up and say, hey, man, what the hell is this? But when you're working from, like, these photocopies that somebody gives you, um, it makes it a little harder to kind of, kind of read what the hell this is that you're trying to like draw because you're the one that's finishing it up you're the one that's like making it uh understandable communicate so. okay i'm getting there which is kind of fun uh blah, blah, blah. this is a little bit too much there that's good It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. So this is kind of fun. This is actually a really fun, uh, I'm really enjoying this. This kind of like idea of inking someone. So yeah, if you guys like this, Please let me know if you want me to do more of these or who, give me some people you want me to do, you know? And I'll do them, what the hell? Let me just real quick. I don't want to sit here for like five hours doing these, but, um, and I really wish I knew what size he really works on because I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of like cheating or at least not really doing it exactly the way he does it. But I'm kind of learning a few things about what he's doing, how he does this. It'd be fun to do, like, a bunch of stuff of, like, you know, get some some original Sienkiewicz, you know, pages. Actually, I have those from, like, the, uh, you know, get my artist edition of New Mutants and, like, just pull out some pages and blue line the mofos. And then just, like, okay, I'm going to just ink these. You know, 
or figure out, just draw them, redraw them. That'd even be better, you know? Maybe I should do that. It just takes time to do it, you know? But it's, I think it's worth, worth doing these kind of like uh, drills or master studies, whatever you want to call them. The hair is the most interesting to him, to me, because like, I really want to know if he's doing it this way. And um, it's very distinguishable and I feel like you can screw it up pretty easy. Cause see, that doesn't quite look right. He, he has these lines, I wonder if he separates them out. I'm kind of connecting them. He might just make separate marks for each of those. And he might even start here and go thicker here. I don't know. Like I did just there and kind of screw that up. I would redo that line if I could right now. I'll just get some white out and redo that one because it's kind of jacked up. There's a couple of dots there. What else is going on? Um, I've been playing Last of Us. Yeah, that's something we can talk about. There's a video game called Last of Us. Been playing a little bit of that. Last of Us 2, that is, the new one. I don't play video games that much. I used to be decent playing, but I never really played that much. I get too guilty about playing and I feel like I need to be working on stuff. And I'm getting old, man. I can't be farting around with damn video games. Um, but every now and then there's certain ones that I'm like, I'm all about it. Like God of War, I'm a big fan of God of War, I'm a big fan of, um, of Last of Us. So I'm like, okay, certain games I get when they come out, I want to be part of the conversation, I want to bellyache, or I want to be excited about it. So I do that. That one's messed up, that one's messed up. So that was one of my, so that was one of the things I did, and I got it like, um, Kind of about three days ago, and I've been playing. I play about an hour and a half, two hours a night. Then I get back to work and do some stuff. But it's pretty fun. Interesting. I didn't ever really pay attention how these lines really give a sense of volume that he he allows the character to have these stripes, and it's kind of nice. Really, again, love the, the line quality he does, and it's kind of what inspired me to do these, is just to kind of see, I feel like it's just that perfect, nice, old school, inking uh and then as far as the stories themselves it's really great and you know he he does these great little imaginations you know moments where he's like kind of a 50s uh you know science fiction type of character and all these little stories and stuff and i really i really dig it mm. It's a little more, it's a little too advanced for my little boy, who's seven. You know, there'll be jokes and stuff that he doesn't really quite get. So I'm not sure if it's really for him, you know, as far as appropriate for age-wise. But I, I do read a little bit to him at night. But it's not like something that he, like, cracks up on and loves. You know, cheese, sweet home, so owly, stuff like that would be much more his speed. Um... See, he might even use a repeater. See, that eyeball screwed up. That eyeball should be like that. So I would go in here with my Pro White and I would kind of fix that down, fix that up a bit. So 
same thing here. This is a little bit more curved. And then this here is connected more, and then it kind of goes back. Yeah. So here's just a couple we're doing. This is 30 minutes, but that's probably good enough. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, we'll do more of this stuff on my own. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of Bill Watterson's work. Uh, really dig his line work. and thought this would be kind of a fun uh, practice to kind of like learn how he inks and just go through here and just kind of like, you know, and just kind of like play with some of the things that he's doing to kind of like create interesting uh, work. So there you go. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out all my videos that are coming up. And uh, take care out there. Be safe, be careful, and uh, love one another. Bye guys.